M0FXB, welcome to my channel, Shawcom SW102. So to turn it on nice and easy, just power it on. So we'll turn it off now. Hold the red button, it comes on. If you hold it longer, it will do a, a full reset, but just enough till it shows power on on the display. Now to go to the menu, press the blue button. You've got your selections. Now number one is LCD dim backlight time. Number two is auto power off time. Three is adjustment frequency counter. Four is adjust VHF power offset. Five is adjust UHF power offset. Six is adjust VHF lower power, low power offset. And seven is adjust UHF low power offset. Okay, now to make selections, once you're in there, you just press the red button and you'll go down the list. Let's go back in. Blue button back in, and then we can go up and down. You'll see it move here on the right, the little cursor going up and down. And to make actual changes, you just push the right and left like that, and you'll and you'll change, you know, what the selections are. If you get a bit lost, don't worry, we can reset it. To save the settings, hold the blue button. That's the but that's the savings set. And then to come out, hold the red button. Like so, and then I'll just tell you about re fully resetting it, and that is you just power it off, and then let's power it back on. But this time we'll hold it longer, and it will come up with the words "restore to default." There you go, and it will just do it. That's it. It's a very nice SWR power meter. Very easy to use. Obviously, you need some adapters for different radios. We've got the RT3 in the background there. Uh, and it's a 2 meters and 70 centimeter one. And it has a built-in battery. And the battery lasts for a long time. So I, th I think they're very good. I'm very pleased with it. I'll just turn it around so you can see the back of it. It is a metal, a metal case, which we always like. Nice quality metal case. And yeah, yeah you, you don't get any adapters when you buy the... SO239 one, but if you get the N-Type one, you get the adapters as well. And it comes with a uh, just a normal, almost like an iPhone charger. You can see it in that packet. And a small mi micro USB charging lead. Yeah, they haven't done the USB-C yet, but I'm sure they